today we're here with the College of Education Executive Advisory Council. This is a group uh, that was so enjoyable and, and so energetic. They, they represent, of course, the heart of our mission, the educators, taking us both back to our roots, but also very importantly, helping us to think about our future and our central role when it comes to education and educating the next generations of students. We talked a lot about this idea of being a physical presence, uh, making educational programs available to people in other parts of the state and perhaps beyond the state as well. We have, of course, people here on the EAC who are from Northern Virginia and Southern Virginia and Central and Eastern. Uh, parts of the state where they're in some cases several hours away uh, from this campus and yet when they talk about getting advanced degrees or certificates or or other education after they leave JMU they said gosh if we were closer if we had more of a presence they would really opt for JMU if that was a possibility for them. Certainly we can use technology we have online courses and programs already that are available to people but we also heard that we need to do much more to let people know about those possibilities and still that there may be occasions when having an actual physical presence in other locations might be helpful. So I think that's something we at least have to talk about and think about going forward. It was a great reminder today to be with these educators who talked about the personal touch and they said that with James Madison University we need to have balanced, careful, uh, managed growth in order to maintain that core integrity of, of who we are, those, those personal connections between faculty members and students. For students to come here and feel known and valued and respected, that that's been so important throughout our history and needs to continue to be a part of who we are. This is a group we, we cannot thank them enough for their service to society. When I think about the people who've made a great difference in my life, the first people that come to mind, uh, in addition to my own family, are my teachers. Uh, in fact, one of my high school teachers was here at the inauguration last week, uh, over 30 years later after I had graduated from high school. And to this day, I remember what a difference he made in my life, encouraging me to be an exchange student in Japan and open my eyes to a whole new world. That's what teachers do. That's what these people are doing. They're making a difference in the lives of next generations of students. So we can't say thank you enough.